Captain. I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Wow, all this happened in one day? Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she So do we play as Chris now or with it. God damn it, when does it end? Never. What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. No, oh, I have a different theory, but uh, let's see what happens. Go we'll get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. So BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's oh my god, those helmets! And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yeah, okay. K9, well, I want to know if the my theory is correct, you might want to retract that statement about Roger brought that, back. Together, okay, so we do play as Who's fucking last? Chris now. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. You guys done chatting? Good, because in that case, I think I'm done for now. Because, like... I don't know how much is left, but it's already almost midnight. We've already been going for almost four hours. So unless the next segment is like half an hour long, which I guarantee it isn't, I might want to save this for one last session. And I have still have another theory about a thing that's going to happen later, but we'll see. Hand grenade, karambit knife. Wow. Med injector. Medicine that fully heals all wounds. Wow. Okay. One hour? Are you sure? Because I don't want to sit here until like 2.30 a.m. But I could absolutely go one more hour. So if you're crazy sure, we'll go for it. Right. I don't want to- I don't want to start a session later that's only one hour long, so... Well, I don't have a map. That's awesome. All right, fuck it. If we're that close to the end, then fuck it. Let's fucking go, people. Oh my goodness. This doesn't look great. What the fuck? Look at the castle. Hey, Alpha. Look at this. <laughs> Ain't that a sweet gun? Yes, hey, hey. I've gone too far. Okay, see, this is a little beyond my understanding of Resident Evil lore, so... It's pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. You got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. So how do we get down there? Aha, here. Make oh, this really is the same location. Well, hi. Hey, 
Him's a lot of like, wow. And they take like no ammo to die either. Oh no, I guess that about the mole is the BSAA thing. I'm, where I'm like, Roger okay, that. this is beyond me now. Just move. Wow, the BSA village is thoroughly fucked at this point. <laughs> I can take it. Don't get caught. Is there any reason to use this one instead of this one? Uh oh. Speaking of bioweapons, sounds like something big is coming my way. I need to go to the bathroom, guys. Okay, do I go in or... Nope. Can we open the gate? We sure can. Cool. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably more parameters. Let's go. Why would you possibly think that? What could, what could bring you to that conclusion? Oh, dear. Where, where, oh god! That's one of the big boys. Ah! The mold may be releasing infectious particulates. Keep your masks on. Oh, there's two of them. Oh no! Ah! Didn't expect to see the BSA going so far. Shit! Give me a moment to reload, you assholes! Oh, okay, I'm not hitting shit. Okay. Dead puppies. I'm sorry to say, but... They are pretty dead at this point. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Is this my handgun? <laughs> why why even have this thing right now? This is clearly superior. I have so much ammo. So why bother? Ooh, gotta love the night vision. How do I get out of here? Don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Except, where else can I go? We could do a flat worm instead of being injected and mutated with. Okay, well, so far so good. How do I get out of here? I can't really see anywhere I can go. Clearly I'm supposed to go through here, but I don't see how. I'm not getting a prompt to like jump out of anything or... How the fuck? Come on! Oh, okay. Well, I thought like... I thought all the houses would be blocked. So to keep you on a straight path. Oh hello. Can't let this mall spread. Nope, also nothing here. Hi. Boy, there really is just no reason he has any other weapons than this. Umberize, I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the plate. Oh boy. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Too late, I think. 
I think the mold might already, might already have spread. I, seems a distinct possibility. Like, you know. Well, okay, now there's a bunch. So maybe now a grenade wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, you're right, this is god mode. Just straight up. Hey, I get eyes on boss. Unless you're deliberately just wasting ammo constantly. Just basically no way to fuck this up. Take a little moment to reload. That's about it. Simultaneous kill. Really? Fucking off of me. Oh my god. Okay, of course I'm getting attacked from behind. Why wouldn't I be? And from the front. Sorry guys, don't have time to fight. I'm in a cutscene. Roger that, boss. Wait, what am I doing? With this laser thing? What am I doing with this? Oh, what? Reloading now. Just a minute. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I didn't quite get it. Just gotta give it a sec. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, reload already. Is there any good reason for it to take this long to reload, gameplay-wise? Okay, Captain. I'm reloaded. Ready when you are. The mold is rapidly expanding. Bingo, there must be something stimulating it. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. This is small oh, pain that way. Okay, now there's a few. Where should I go next? Ow! The fuck, man? Okay, maybe I can run out of ammo. Ow! Can he do to ignore me for a sec? Is the target locator working? Damn it, these things are using weapons. I'm <laughs> sure they're thinking the same about you. Okay. Bioweapon numbers. You're mildly a boy, annoying buddy. We need to finish them off quick. Find more from the mountains. He's signed. I'm nearby. Okay. What? Prepping the next round. Just a second. What the fuck? That didn't work, though. 
Why did that not work? Oh, so excuse me for thinking, hey, there's a thing blocking my path. Maybe I should aim at the thing blocking my path. Reloading. Be with you soon. Reload it, Captain. Ready when you are. Once again, what the fuck do you mean big thing in the middle? I've shot everything that's a problem. That is the big thing in the middle, like... Fuck off! Come on, wait, no! This part is just dumb. There's nothing fun or interesting about this, and I'm dead. Sure, go ahead and kill me, don't even care. Alright, took me a couple things to realize this is what I'm supposed to do. So, it's definitely on my own ass, I get that. But I still feel like this is kind of stupid. Alright, can we get a restocking point now? Because now I actually am low on ammo. I found a way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Captain, yep, there it is. I compared the mold at the village with the sample from the bakers and... Uh... There's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Okay. All right. That part was kind of not fun, just kind of dumb, but oh dear. Guarding the no, seat, huh? that's not an option. It wasn't nice though. Hi. I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. Here is. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Ow. Can you not? Where are my grenades? There they are. He does not seem to give much of a fuck about my grenades, do they? Oh boy. Shit. That took him down. Now. Just a oh! Oh, I. Well. Whoops. Celebrated too soon. Wow, he really is. Tough. And ugly! Okay, Ow! Okay, ow! Can you not? Can you not do this right now? Aha! Gotcha! Ha! Wow! Hold your horses. I'm reloading. He just refuses to eat shit, huh? Okay. Oh 
Oh dear. Hi. If I had a hammer. Ah! Where should I point next? I mean, dude, I'm literally just in a hole in the ground. How hard is it to aim for this? Oh, fuck off. He jumped out of the way the second it was fully loaded. That's bullshit. Okay, no, he's dying. Just a minute. Wait, what? Really? Oh, okay, there we go. What's the next target? I'll keep going. The rest of you stay above ground. So that was a waste of time. <laughs> Alright, here's my exit. I'm not super fond of this segment, to be honest. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt Good question. Any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Guys, this Focus really isn't the, the time to be funny. <laughs> what the fuck? I found it. Well, it's the Mega My Seed. Oh, the fucking boat in seven drove me nuts. Squad. I hated that I've segment. Located the mega my seat. So now we can end this. The whole flashback, out. like I get it from a story perspective, but oh, damn time. that was way too long and way too irritating. <sighs> All right, blow it the fuck up. Explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. Yeah, you really should. We didn't expect Miranda to act What's so the time? Soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah, grill him. Drag his ass. Fucking dumbass. This must be Miranda's lab. It must be. Oh my god, okay. Alcina Dimitrescu. Can do affinity most favorable, brain functions normal. Regeneration rate is ex incredibly fast. The subject can heal and any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Eva. Okay. So these books on all of them? That must be on Moreau. Salvatore Moreau. Cadu affinity low. Brain function surprisingly low. Man, tell me what you don't like about him. Um, the Kadu has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects, and an unfit vessel for Eva. What? Shooting the lock in the cell ends this part, so don't shoot it before- Okay. Thank you for telling me. And here we have Heisenberg. Carl Heisenberg. Incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray. Nike Haponica. Uh, these electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass and control electricity through the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Eva. Okay. Donna Beneviento. 
Cadeau affinity favorable, normal although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a, a, what? She can secrete a signal-producing substance, which controls plants infected by the mutamicide. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadeau among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Eva. All right. Well, now we know. What the fuck is this? Take a good look around here. Whoa. These things are just mildly disgusting. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. What's this? Hmm. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I've always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. Oh yeah, not fucking horrifying. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hope to bring back a single dead person, while I aim to change the world. Oh, she's trying to bring back her own daughter, right. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. That is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I found the key to evolution. The progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Spencer. Okay. Here. No way. Okay, so again... My understanding of Resident Evil lore doesn't go far enough to know Spencer by name. But, you know, I understand the letter. <laughs> we sure do. Ugh. Even here she looks creepy. The fuck is happening here? Okay. Look around at some other stuff, if there is any more stuff to look at. Oh, right. Sorry. I haven't actually played the first game. Um, I have the GameCube version of it, so maybe I should stream that someday. My Eva. It's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megami Seed. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megami Seed Regulator, the Giant's Chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Megami Seed. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. So I wanted to be with you again. And that's when I found it. The Megami Seed, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamacy breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamacy. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I've experimented on hundreds of people, just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite called Kado. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA. But all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Ah, okay, so that's how that fits together. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. 
Eva, I have waited so long to see you again. Okay. So, that's kind of a disappointing motivation for her, honestly. Because that's very old hat, in a way. It's the same old story, you know? I kind of liked her better when she was a weird witch. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Is there not a way to save in here? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, let me refill my drink and then we'll move on. Just give me a minute. I return with liquids. Alright then. Well, I'm glad we asserted how Evelyn fit into everything. Hello. Show me your hands. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. Okay, so this uh, is the yeah. real Mia. It really is you. How did she get here? I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Oh, that makes more sense. Alright. did you say, Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything! And they didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Well, where part of him daughter? is lying in a field somewhere, and the other part is in Miranda's hand, probably. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Are you sure you can? Come on. It's not safe here. I, I do love that Mia for this entire game has been MIA, so to speak. He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... Oh, here we go. You don't understand how special he is. Here we go. I fucking knew it. Come on. Tell me the whole story. Now take a look down your chest, buddy. Is there someone there? It's cold. No shit, it's cold. You're in the snow. And you're very dead. And you also have your fingers back somehow. Well, this might be a dream, to be fair. How did get here? God, freezing. Yeah, look at your hands. You even have your wedding ring back somehow. This shit, my body. <laughs> well, I mean, the whole Miranda Mia thing. We found a letter that basically told me outright, right before they revealed it. So I can't take credit for that one. 
But I've been calling that Ethan is uh is mold infected since the start. How are you here? You're dead. Dead? I mean Miranda. She No. I still have to save Rose. <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always. Yep, dead. knew it. What are you saying? I can still. So, how long has he been dead? At what point did he die in seven? See? That's what I want to know. Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt. <laughs> I. Exactly. Man, I've been saying that the whole game. Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. Oh, that early? You died there three years ago. That's, that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, <laughs> you! What, what am I? You're a molded. Yeah. Just a very high level one. I, I, Who, for some reason, I, wasn't under Evelyn's <laughs> mind control. <laughs> Rose. Mia. I. Wait, does that make Rose a zombie baby? Rose. <laughs> oh, there we go. The question is if, if Mia is also a mold, if, if she died too, but I don't think so, because Evelyn wanted her as her mom. You're already dead. <laughs> dead! But your sperm is alive and kicking, clearly. It's about the only thing that's alive in you. <laughs> I, I will save Rose! <sighs> Wait, where are we now? Uh. Oh, okay, fingers are missing again. At last, he awakes. Oh, Duke! Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Wait, Duke actually got out of his carriage? Our battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Well, he would need to get me out to get out of his carriage take to take me, to me in it. So I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he has but his own fish. Fuck you, man. You Why sure can't you just cook this? me the thing? Your body is, well, falling apart. No crap, huh? <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. 
Are you ready? Gonna have to be. If nothing else, I can at least make yeah. sure that Rose gets a life. I have to be. Unless she's technically born dead, <coughs> then problem. I gotta go. Get Rose back from Miranda. Yeah, baby. So where am I going exactly? I am going where? Isn't this the ceremony site down here? Well, yeah, like... So isn't this the area I gotta go? Nope, that's the way to Heisenberg's factory. So where then? Hmm. Where's she at? Where do oh, well. Could you at least let me save, Duke? Oh, here we are. Here's some stuff. Thank you. No? You're not gonna... Um, I can't, though. He's not coming out of the carriage. Oh, it's open back here. I see. There it is. Okay, that took me a moment. Naturally. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Can you now? Forgive me for not being super impressed or interested. Mm -hmm. All right. Guess that's what I got. Please be well. Thanks. Preparation is more important now than ever Well, actually, uh, let me just see. Yes. Thank you for your purchase. Not taking any chances. Let's get as much ammo as I can. Please. Be well. I just didn't... There were so many of these in the way that I thought I couldn't go here either. But fair enough. Okay, final boss time then. Out of my way. Oh, I'm not paying to fight anybody. I really don't have time for you guys. Just rose, right? My power is leaving me. Rose, of course, she did. <laughs> Miranda, interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Says the six winged woman, give Rose to me now. You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Oh dear. Thanks for the help, Chris. Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! Hmm. 
know about that. You want to put her somewhere safe while we fight? At least not carry her around? Oh, well, now she certainly looks more like the witch in the story. Okay. of my false children and awakened the glorious... Ah, okay. Now, please do not worry, the little rose. I assure you I'll provide her with true Eight wing will excuse the fuck out of me. Ow! Ah, not letting you get away. Here so I how do I hurt her? Ah, okay. Please, Mr. Winters. Nope. Why you think I'll obey that order? Okay, okay. You mind controlling yourself a bit? Whoopsie daisy. Why sniper rifle ammo in the middle of this fight? I'll take wonderful care of you. Oh, will you now? You understand the level of parenting, child. How can you deny me? Why oh dear. Did you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, Woo! not yours. I shall put you to rest. Ow. I'm sure you would like to. Ow. Ow. Your time is up. Now die. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ow. I'm starting to get a little fed up with your shit. I love how the music is relatively low key for this I've fight. I've never seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure you're not like that? Now it turns out I'm older, but uh. From the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. <laughs> and also give her a vast array of superpowers. Let's not deny that even. Oh, there she is! She certainly has a lot of forms now. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! 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 Such Real nice shooting them at me from behind. Bitch! Fast. Well, I have two more actually, so it's not that bad. After all, everyone dies. Oh, great Mega Mice! Hear my prayer! Okay! Wait, that wasn't it, was it? <laughs> nope, she's still around. Uh oh. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. You think? Rest now. The hell I will! I will take back my daughter! Why the frame rate on that, those splashes are weird. Die, die, die! Fuck! Die, die! I swear I'm shooting her point blank when she lunges at me. I understand your feelings, Mr. Winters. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But this is... If oh I boy. combine Rose with a Mega my daughter will be made manifest at last. Ow, 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 lava ball. You're a little close. Foolish. 
Nope. Well, I'm out of shotgun ammo. Surely you have no need for this now. So close to death. Uh oh. She's my goddamn daughter. You psycho. Ah! <laughs> oh, right in the face. Die. Nope. I'd much rather you did, to be perfectly honest. Where's that ammo I just saw? Oh, whatever. Where are you at? Oh. <laughs> shit, shit! Man, there's like no time to react to those fucking orbs. There she go. Whoop! There she go. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? There. Damn it, stay still. Oh, fuck you. God damn it! Every time they fire when I'm in the middle of a shot! They could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? <laughs> of real love. That's right, Ethan. Take her through some Your therapy. Time is up! Now die! I know. Ow. Oh, so there I you are. I will see my hopes for you. I must. Fuck me. <laughs> I will take back my daughter! Okay, I just gotta dodge her here. <laughs> no sense trying to shoot her. Die, die, there she is. Die, die, die. Can you not hear that you've gone completely insane? Corpse. <laughs> okay! This is how I mean, you ripped my heart out, and I'm still here. To ensure I never see your face anymore. Oh! Get item, crystallized Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> of course, right as dawn breaks, true fairy tale style. <laughs> oh, now you cry. Rose. <laughs> At least they had the decency to keep, let her keep her clothes. Aww. Uh oh. Well, I'm finally about done for, apparently. Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. What? Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Maybe you should hold the baby? Cause, uh... Ethan's three-fingered hand might crumble off at any moment. Yeah, they're really dedicated to hiding the face. It's kind of funny, actually. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I love you. 
Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hold hey. the baby for fuck's sake. He can literally crumble to dust any second now. Can you tell yourself? Now oh, come on, it's not that much further. Oh, fuck off. He's dead. You know it. You know he's dead. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Aw. Ethan. Well, you're going boom. Boy, they're really dragging this out. This guy is top tier family man. He's gone through hill and back twice to save his wife and his daughter. God, you're gross. Your Check husband is dead. Now. Like, actually dead this time. Wait! Where is Ethan? This time he's seriously dead. Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go! Not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Son of a bitch. Sorry, I just discovered Tell a rip in my shorts. Which are like two months old. Fuck. Alright, whatever. What was that? I told you to sit down. Where is he? What have you done? He's gone. Well, I just noticed now. Excuse me. I tried. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? What the fuck? Orders, Captain. What? Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. What? I don't understand so what this means be. right now. Well, yeah. Big fucking surprise, but that felt like I was supposed to recognize something. Well, there we go! Ah, there we go then. Oh, there's the book! Alright, we're gonna get the full star this time, or is it just credits? It's credits. And I'm gonna stick through them. Well, this was an experience, to be sure. It's certainly... While it's the same core gameplay, it's certainly quite different from 7. I can see why people say they like the story of 7 better. Because, like, the Baker family is ultimately more interesting. And more sympathetic, you know? Because this whole, like, I'm trying to revive my dead kid... Like, it's just such an old trope at this point. So it kind of ruins her a little, that that's the thing that's happening. After all this time when the... The game is ha has this 
gothic supernatural tint to it. And we know it's Resident Evil, so we know it's gonna turn out it's bioweapons that just happen to have a gothic tint to them. That makes sense. But like, I feel like... I feel like she needed a more unique motivation to really keep that fairy tale thing alive. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of knocks her down a few pegs for me. But my god, there are so many cool moments in this. It also feels easier than 7. I definitely died a lot more playing 7 than I died playing this. Whenever the fucking molded showed up. Especially the big ones. Fuck those guys. So I can see why. I think gameplay-wise, I enjoy playing this one more. Simply for, you know, there's a very... There's a constant sense of progression, even when I'm getting a little lost. I'm usually not lost for long. And I, I can't not appreciate that it's a bit of a sequel to 4. Oh! In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter, so mother bore it really is. to safety. Like I said at the beginning, it looks like a Henry Selleck movie. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. <laughs> it's a very specific nightmare. All right. Well then. I really love the visuals of this. I love Lady D. I love uh I actually do like Moreau even if his area kind of sucks. I love Pianavento. I love uh Heisenberg. Like they're just such fun characters. And it's kind of awesome to see a Resident Evil game that has, like, this quirky mini-boss squad working under one villain. Like, this is probably the most anime I've seen Resident Evil be, if that makes any sense. Which is kind of hilarious in its own right. And, you know, I appreciate the um, increase in enemy variety, because RE7... While a definitely a much scarier game, gets a little samey when you, all you're fighting are like three different versions of the molded for the entire game, and then the occasional boss fight. But yeah, like, Lady Dimitrescu is definitely the standout character in this, with segments like Bienavento's um, dollhouse, and just Heisenberg being Heisenberg definitely sticking up. Miranda herself is actually kind of underwhelming. Her henchmen are way more fun than she is. Way more interesting. I'd honestly like to know way more about them. So if any DLC comes out, I wanted to focus on them. If at all possible. That would rule. Just play some of their earlier victims or playmates, you know? That would be awesome. Art direction in this is incredible, though. So is this supposed to be, uh... To be Miranda's backstory we're seeing in the storybook here? Or Avas, maybe? No, because that looked like her mother died, so... Oh, music! Up oh, there it is. So yeah, like, I think as a horror game, 7 is still better. But this is a really fun gothic action game, if that makes sense.
This storybook is a little confusing. Oh, French voice cast. Oh, there she is, like, converting the whole village. Oh, so this is just... Yeah, okay, this is just some rando from the village. Oh, wait, it might be... It might be that old man who died at the beginning. Who we later fought as a werewolf. Well, I think we did. Or, judging from the plague doctor masks, this takes, takes place way later. So, never mind. I, I mean, way earlier. I mean, I'm guessing. I have no idea. I wouldn't know. I haven't seen any of the... Wait! Will I be... I should be able to buy some, uh, some behind-the-scenes shit after this. You were! For once, you were. <laughs> this could very well be them. I forget her name, but the woman and her father we met early in the game. It's certainly possible. No, no, he looks like he's turning were werewolf. Elena. Yeah, it's not them. They're just random villagers. Well, yeah, we found letters that outright stated she turned people into lichens. Because she experimented on the townspeople. Capcom! <laughs> I love how that logo doesn't fit the storybook shit at all. It's just there. Ah, here we go. I think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Not that he can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. Rouse Pine. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels good. You think it does, <laughs> but Aww, I think I know who this is. Sunshine City? Jeez. Hey, Dad. Kind Happy husband and loving birthday. father who put family before all else. <laughs> no shit! I'm sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Damn devil. Duty calls. I love you. So has she been told all he did for her? Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have Sup? a situation. You're needed. <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Oh, it was just a joke, Rose. Not a very good one. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. How about fuck you, buddy? Way to keep it together, Rose. You clearly have no goddamn idea what you're dealing with. You're a lot like him, you know? I 
I know. Well, can't wait for this game to come out in like 2035. But it's good to see she at least gets to live, if not the most normal life. We done? The father's story is now done. Difficulty standard, completion time, 11 hours. Trophy earned, great dad. <laughs> Best dad ever. Wow. Okay. Yeah.